Come on, let's go. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Up, up, up. Good dog. This video is sponsored by Otterbox. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be winter camping out of my truck with my dog. This will be the first time I've ever done this. So this is going to be a nice, easy, relaxed camp. I got a cooler full of food. I got a tent. I got firewood. For anybody who doesn't know why, this is going to be like a nice, relaxed, safe, warm kind of car camping trip with my dog. I'll explain that a little bit later, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know. We're going to be driving about an hour and a half away from my house down some back roads and we set up shop when we get there. Over here, Scoots. Free! Well, we're here. We finally made it to this nice pullover spot by a lake. I can set up the tent and camp here overnight, no problems. I'm looking forward to spending the night with Scout. So a while back, Otterbox reached out and they wanted to sponsor a video. And um, the cooler just came in. And I wanted to do this camp with Scout, so it was very convenient. It seemed like a great time to test this cooler out. I'm using it to keep my food from freezing, as opposed to the normal usage of keeping it cold. It's already cold. If I left my food out overnight or even during the day while I'm hiking around with him and stuff, it's going to uh, to freeze and be hard to deal with, have to thaw it out, all that stuff. And why deal with all that nonsense when I'm car camping, when I'm camping right out of my truck here? I want luxury, I want the amenities. This specific OtterBox cooler is the Venture 45. These rugged, versatile coolers are built to keep your group happy, full, and hydrated. From either a day trip in the woods to a weekend trek or a week-long disappearance into the bush. The cooler has custom modularity. They created a platform so people could use the cooler as more than just a piece of cooling gear. They've thought about organization as well. There's a built-in slot for separators and a dry storage tray, making organizing your cooler a breeze. The ice keeps up to 14 days. You know how much ice you can fit in this bad boy? The latches are a different design than I've seen before. They're easy to open and drop down out of the way. The handles are sturdy and they make carrying easy and they serve as tie-down points. And all of this is made in America as well. Oh, cheers. For a limited time, if you go to otterbox.com and purchase a Venture 25 cooler, you'll get a free black dry box. Thanks a lot to Otterbox for the sponsorship. Really appreciate it. So let's get that tent set up. firewood I thought why not I've literally got a hot plate and an extension cord and a, a, an outlet in my in my truck that uh, that takes like a normal three-prong outlet I'm gonna cook over the fire and stuff tonight but tomorrow for breakfast I'm gonna use the hot plate <laughs> what is this what is this craziness anyway brought a bunch of wood from home seasoned so even just to start or whatever just just to have some stuff I thought why not uh, I got my snowshoes up in there still. I'll leave them there for now. I think I'm going to put my tent under this tree. There's no deadfall around. I'm pretty protected up under this, this tree. And the ground is very flat and devoid of snow. If you look here, there's nothing. You look here, there's quite a lot. What I did just notice too, there's an old pooper, an old oot hoose over here. There's an old shower curtain and a, and a toilet seat, so that's cool. That's the thing about these pullover spots. Usually they're they're pretty heavily used. Um, I don't expect to see anyone today, but there are fresh tracks walking through here. No 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 uh, car tracks or truck tracks, excuse me, or even snowmobile tracks. Just people hiking. But um, yeah, it is used up a little bit, and that makes me glad that I brought the wood even more so, for the fact it's easier. And I'm not going to be impacting this place at all. My biggest impact here will be a little bit of a fire, and. Uh, like a little fire ring in my tent footprint. So I have for Scout, I got a big sleeping pad, I got a couple blankets. It'll be nice and warm. I told you guys that 
If you didn't know why we were taking it easy, I'd tell you, and it's just because Scott was diagnosed with lymphoma a couple weeks ago, given a couple weeks to live, but he's doing well. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's chipper, he's a good, he's lost some weight. He definitely lost some weight, but uh, he's doing good. And I got, changed his diet, gave him sorts, all sorts of supplements, and uh, yeah, I have faith he'll hold on for another year. Give him, give him another year, and uh, I'll be really happy with that. But if not, I'm okay with taking it all in stride and uh, doing what's best for him too. I was real distraught, real beat up for a long time and a lot of people came through, so thank you. Okay, so the plan for today is get this set up, make a lunch and then go on a snowshoe hike. I got my snowshoes, me and Scout, go on a snowshoe hike. Hey bud, <laughs> around, check out the area. Maybe we'll cross the lake. Hey bud, what are you doing? Watch out, watch out, go on. Good boy. I mean, I can pound it in with my ax a little bit. That ground's pretty frozen. Kind of fun using these totes instead of a backpack or whatever, nice and easy. Alright, I've got both my air mattresses blown up. This one, that my old one will be for Scout. This one, this is actually an old one as well, but it'll be for me. It's a little bit bigger. I am going to have um, two blankets as well for them. I do need to put a stake out in the front to keep it solid. I guess I'll, I'll use my axe and try and get it in right now. Otherwise, this will be open, be flapping all crazy when I try and open the door. All crazy, just flapping around. Watch out, bud. You gotta go on. Go over there. Go over there. Good boy. Okay, that's not so bad. I'll hammer down that back one in a minute. Once I get some stuff in here, I won't really need the uh, the pegs. Alrighty. I'm gonna go at the back. My reasoning is Scout's gonna be getting in and out a lot. I'll leave this door open so he can lay in it when he wants. I just don't want him trampling all over my stuff. Uh, keep his stuff in the front. That way mine's not gonna get all wet and scouty. <laughs> Okay, so you can double this one up. You can lay on this on top of the sleeping pad, which is more than enough. And then he can cover up with this. And I've got my big sleeping bag. I'll be totally warm with this one. Um, also, I brought his dog bed. Hey, buddy. So he can lay on all that. And then I can cover him up with the wool blanket. He should be totally fine. You wanna lay in here? Come on, good boy. On your bed. Oh yeah. That's good, hey bud? That's good. Good boy. How you holding up, eh? My good boy.
thought this shovel would come in handy not only for clearing out a spot, but if I got stuck in here, I thought it would be a good idea to have a full-size shovel rather than just one of those folding ones uh, that I would normally take winter camping. Had the truck, why not? Again, this will also come in handy to clear a spot for my fire. <laughs> you want tell? Oh, good boy. Oh, the good boy. Oh, the good boy. All right, watch out. Don't want to overdo it, man. I still gotta go on a hike. Now I have a clear spot, spot, go to my truck, have a fire. Not too shabby, guys. Look at that. Bam, son. I figured... As as hungry as I am, and as much as I want to go and Scott wants to go right now, I figured the smartest thing to do would be, no, 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 no. <laughs> stay over there, would be to uh, split up some wood so that it's ready to go for when I get back. That is, oh, all right. That's ambitious. That's ambitious. He can have all the wood he wants. I'm fine with it. No, no, you have your piece. No, 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 no. You have your piece. No, leave it. Go with that one. Go with that one. Crazy dog. Can't have all the wood. I was exaggerating. All right. Let's get some split down so that we're prepared. Okay. Wow. There we go. The old chicken stick method. This is a pretty safe method to do it with when you're working like this, all willy nilly. This log keeps rolling, that's my problem. Hungry? You want some food? Alright, let's check out what we got for Scout for food. The compartmentalization really came in handy right now because I wanted to keep Scout's food away from me, uh, uh, from mine. As you know, he's eating a raw diet now. That's one of the big things I changed for him for uh, to help with his lymphoma. So that's all Scout stuff there. He's got some rainbow trout, that's left of the rainbow trout, chicken thigh, uh, marrow bone, real marrow bone with a bunch of marrow inside it, which that, that'll keep him busy later on tonight, so we're not going to give him that right now. And then he's got this big old piece of fish, and also, I had something else for him in there. Where are we? Oh, here we go. It's veggies. It's veggies. So I think for lunch we're going to give them this bag of veggies and this cut of uh, fish. We're going to use this as a cutting board. 
You hungry? You excited, big guy? <laughs> Nice and slimy, nice and fishy. So I like to cut it up before I give it to him because if I don't do that, it tends to, he tends to just wolf it down. And then the peas and the carrots, the veggies, he doesn't really care about too much. But if I mix it all in, he gets everything. Normally, I'm feeding him coconut oil with it as well. But I figure when I'm feeding him fish, it's not the biggest deal in the world to give him uh, too much fats and coconut oils and stuff like that. But tomorrow... We'll double up on it. We've got some drops I need to put into the food as well. And just kind of mixing it all in together helps him it helps him ensure that he actually gets it all. This mountain uh, this, this adventure sworn mountaineer is making quick work of the uh, old fish fillet. Okay. Now my, uh, my cutting board is going to smell like fish, but the cooler's bear resistant, so we're all good. <laughs> I'll rinse it off and clean it off after anyway. Okay, so that's a good amount of meat for lunch. And then as soon as I add the veggies, this old school bowl. He said this bowl his whole life. Thought it'd be cool to bring it. I want to unroll it. I'll roll it down a touch. Just It's kind of hard for him to get his nose all the way in there. It's pretty big. Alrighty, so in goes Mr. Steelhead. Whoa. Scout chomping at the bit, eh? Right ho, right ho. That's all in there. And we go veggies. Mix these items all up. Oh no, oh no, here, eat a carrot. Eat a carrot, bro. Good boy. Alright, almost done. Just got some drops in here for him somewhere. There we go. This is gonna be a heavily food oriented trip. About a half a dropper should do. Here you are, sweet prince. Hold up. Let's stick it in the snow so it can't move. There you go. Go to town, big guy. Did you need some help, big guy? You getting her? You getting her? <laughs> Here, hold on, man. Let me help you out. Stop. Stop for a second. Stop. 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 Oh, wow. No need, eh? All right. Go after them peas. Get them peas, boy. That collar looks so tight on him, but it's not. He's just very skinny. It's just very loose. Oh, yeah. Good as new, bud. Good as new. All right, we're gonna use the other side of the fish board and make up a, a lunch for me. So I got two fresh pieces of bread and they are nice and soft still. Also, we've got Montreal smoked meat. We've got mutar. We've got onion. I've got chips. I love having chips with, with a sandwich. It's my ultimate, ultimate favorite thing. And, and, we've got smoked Havarti. Or maybe Gouda, I'm not sure. Smoked some kind of cheese anyway. I did clean my knife off from the fish tank. Mmm, Montreal. Oh, wow. Once y'all smoked meat, look at this. Look at that meat boy. Oh no, she's falling apart. Scrambled oh. Look at that meat. Ugh. No scotus for me. I'll give you a piece. I'll give you a piece, Scooter Magooter. Oh, that's gonna be a thick Sammy anyway. 
Very thick sandwich. There you go, big guy. Oh boy. Wolf that down. <laughs> Alrighty. No sandwich is com complete with a little onion on it. I like to cut my onion super thin. I like thin slices. Thin as possible. No onions for dogs. And that's a lot of onions for this sandwich, actually. That's all right. It'll be a flavorful sandwich. Bam, son. We got to get some good cheese on there. Apparently, dairy is no good for, uh, not in general, dogs. Maybe, maybe it's no good for dogs, but for Scout, whatever, um, the same thing that same type of reason that carbohydrates are bad for them. It kind of just sticks to those things. So not giving Scout any cheese either, where normally he gets lots of cheese. All righty. <laughs> A mustard man, mustard man. Throwing the cheese everywhere. It's a delicate thing cutting the sandwich. There we go. There we go. That is Joe Robin X idea of a lunch right there. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. You have to. On your bed. Good. There you go, good boy. He doesn't want to, uh, he wants my food. All right, well, let's bite into this masterpiece. Look at this, I gotta show you one more time. Look at this bad boy. No, no, you're good, man. You had a lot, you had a lot, Scout. No, Scout, no, Scout. Look at the meats. Look at the meats on that thing. It's very Montreal smoky, meaty. It's good. Need some chips, though. Need some chips, though. In your bed. In your bed. You have to. Have to. In your bed. Good boy. This is fun. I like this. This is this is easy. I don't feel rushed. I don't feel like I have to survive the night type thing. It's like my whole cocoon of warmth, his whole everything is in there. If for some reason we get it gets down too cold and we get we can't stay warm, I can pop in the truck and turn the heat on for half an hour or whatever until we get warm, come back and lay in the bed. It's not going to come to that. I know that. Well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this camp. So that had that safety net there for him, more than anything. Oh, I'm excited to go hike. I'm probably running out of daylight, to be honest with you. It's 2.30. So by the time I get out of here, almost 3 o'clock, and I'll have two hours to hike until it's dark. So that's what I'll probably do. There's not a breeze in the sky. There's not. I haven't heard anyone, seen anyone, so... Looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this up and I'll get back with you when I'm done. We'll go on that hike, I promise. Maybe we'll try and walk across this lake, or at least around the edges of it. We'll go see. Hike down behind the tent and out to it. It looks pretty thick in there. Pretty nice trail. <coughs> Excuse me, trail. 
I'm gonna get these snowshoes on and my gaiters because again my boots are uh, are quite short and in this depth of snow it's no good they all get inside it I like these these small boots these are warm and and light but uh, yeah the boot the, the snow it allows the snow to get in Blech. I'm walking back the same way I came and you can see the, the slush, the water starting to come up on the scout in my track, my old track, so <clears throat> yeah, just air on the safe side, I'm sure, I'm sure it's I'm not going to punch through, but it's only me and him out here and if he runs out to the middle or something and drops through, I don't know, it won't be a fun time. So maybe we'll just, we'll get off the lake for now, give it another couple weeks sure it won't even need that much but we'll go up and uh hike in the woods maybe find one of the trails like on a trail there's some really pretty area coming in driving in here it would look really really nice it's snowshoeing slash cross cross country skiing style back up on the land found a trail just look how pretty that is down that straight shot there hey mr scoots what I mean, I can never keep up with them. 11 years old, <laughs> late stage lymphoma, <laughs> winter times, skin and bones, and I should be almost in the prime of my life, and I can't keep up with this old dog. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a fighter. It's a friggin' champion. I think I just found some chaga here. Pretty cool. Just a little bit. Let's see here. This is a good piece. This is all pretty thin. Oh, my hand. Up here, too, actually. Uh, might have to use a uh, knife to get it off. I just got a piece off. See the real orange on the inside? Maybe you can't actually. Let's try and get another piece off here. There we go. See the orange? The orange is good for fire lighting. I'm not going to take any more. 
can make a, you can make a coffee out of this. It has like anti-cancer properties. Dry it, use it for uh, fire or both. Actually, it's good to have. All right, yeah, happy with that little chaga haul. Not too shabby. Drop her in the old pocket. All good. His favorite thing to do. One of his favorite things to do. Just smell for deer. Chase deer. Eat deer poop. Well, we've made our way back around. We're on the other side of the lake now. But you know what? I can't stop thinking that I should grab wood while I see it. So I think I'm gonna gather, take my time to gather a big bundle, like an armful, and walk back with it. I have Scout's leash with me. I can, uh, I can actually tie it together and sling it over my shoulder. That's what I'll do. I'll get a huge bundle of sticks, a big bundle of sticks. There we go. That's pretty handy. Scoots is tired from our walk. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired too. It's just after four now. I'll be losing light soon. I think what I'm gonna do is move my truck a little bit back that away and then I can use it for light. I can just, if I need to, I can point my, my lights right at my camp. I do have a couple different lights in case I need to for some reason. Um, and then even in the morning when I'm cooking up food, if it's not uh, light yet, I can use them for that. It's time for a beer. Well, you know what? Being completely truthful. I don't like my beers too cold. It ruins the taste. Anyways, that's a perfect temperature. It's the exact same temperature it would have been from my fridge at home. I have a little bit of time left before it gets dark. I think it would be wise to go get at least one or two cedars from the pond or the lake down there behind me, the end of the lake, I guess. Um, I don't need snowshoes for going down onto the lake and to get it, which is good because I've already taken them off. And for anyone who knows who wears snowshoes, they know it's not fun to take them on and off. But anyways, um, there's a mosquito. That's quite strange. I think what I'll do is take my saw, take my, my toboggan here, my sled, and go down and collect one or two cedars. I don't even have to buck them up down there at all, just make them into manageable size and bring them back here, deal with them here. Ooh, it's cold on the hands. Why don't you lay in your bed for a minute? Yeah, good boy. There you go. There you go. And he's getting wise, eh? Getting wise in his old age. I swear. I swear those feel smaller. Those glands, those lymph nodes, whatever they are. I swear they feel smaller, guys. Oh, my good boy. I'm really glad I didn't go through with the chemo. I don't know what it would have done to him. He had a couple down days there, and I really felt bad seeing how lethargic he was, and that's not good for him. That's not his whole boogie. All right. Ooh. Should almost put this back in the cooler to keep it not freezing cold. bring the big camera this time. I'm gonna go get us a couple pieces of wood. 
Might as well bring the saw and the axe just in case. Here. Lay down. 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 Get up. You okay? You good? Fell through and got all wet. I was trying to. Oh sh! Come here. I'm trying to trying to put snow on him to to get the the water off at the same time. It works works pretty well actually. Okay, bud. Uh, I just don't want it to get too cold. Okay. This is the tree. I've been chastised for not doing as much bushcraft skill type stuff and more teaching stuff. And I know it's only by a few people, but it rings true, I guess. So here's a tip. When you're using your saw, one minute. When you're using your saw, use the full length of the blade. A lot of the times I'll see people doing something like this. Really fast. And using maybe the front part, or maybe even half or three quarters. But the best way, the most oomph, the most bang for your buck is to just put a solid, effort into using the full length of the blade and pushing down hard and 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 moving your arm back back and forth just as evenly and fast something else that could potentially help someone is knowing where to cut on the log so if you look where my brace is it's here right this is what i have propped up so gravity wants to push this down already right now i can either hold it on this side of it and cut scout st <laughs> scout stop it <laughs> He, he's eating the other side of it. Hey, leave it, leave it. I can either hold on this side and cut on this side and then the weight of it, the gravity will, will, will pull it down, have it fall down, or you can just hold it on that same side and cut on this side of it. Now, if I were to hold on this side and cut on this side of the fulcrum point or the scout, the, uh, the base, then it would pinch here, right? Because 
this is getting cut and both these pieces want to come together as they're as the gravity pushes it down this this would close in and it would pinch your saw now if i was standing on the other side i would be holding on this side and cutting on this side but because i'm faced where i am i would just hold it in place with this hand more than anything more than pushing it down i'm just holding it in place really he's, he's biting every little nub off the you're crazy all right and cutting on a 40 cutting on an angle for some reason a lot of people like to cut on an angle like like that it's you you're doubling your work right just cut as straight as possible and that's more when somebody's cutting down a tree i guess So light, the cedar one, just extremely light. All nice and dry though. That's probably good. I don't need to take any more, I'm sure. Watch out, big guy. Let's go. Oh, tippy. Right, I'm pretty happy with my wood collection now. I've got a decent amount, including the stuff I brought. I'm going to split down this big piece of cedar here and use it as my base so I can light the fire right on top of it. No, it's lovely, lovely. Um, do you see what I did there? I I hit the wood, and the axe only went in a little bit, but it was in enough where I knew if I flipped it around, it would stick, right? So then I I flipped the axe around, then I pounded the the pommel of it onto the the wood below, and the gravity, the force, everything splits the wood from the top. Sometimes it doesn't work, but a lot of times it does. No, you need to back up. You need to back up. Go on. Go on. Go on, big guy. Go over there. Good boy. All right. That should be good.
All right, let's get this bad boy going. It's a bunch of shavings off of a waxwood stick. It should go pretty easily. All right, I'm gonna use a fire steel. Nice and easy. Woo! She's hot. Hot. I'm gonna use a brace. Even though I don't think there's a possibility of smothering that fire. Player safe. We don't want to repeat it last time, eh? <laughs> the old rock fire steel. You sleeping, bud? You're tired, big guy? Looks like it. Let me get your bed. Here, big guy. Come on, good boy. Stay here. Lay down. Good boy, lay down. There you go. That's much better, eh? That's much better. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Ah, that beer is way too cold. Hurting my teeth. Good boy. You having fun, buddy? I'm glad we came. <laughs> it's getting like rained on from this tree above. It's melting all the snow off. I banged a bunch of snow off before we sat down here. With Sco I used Scout's bed and I banged it all off. I couldn't get up too high. This, this this fire is melting at all. It's just coming down on me. But the good news is this fire is nice and toasty and it's uh, it's evaporating right off. <laughs> Keeps coming down. The scout's like snoring away here. I'm wondering if I should put the wool blanket on top of him. I think I might. Nice and comfy. Nice and comfy, eh? Good boy. <laughs> He's like, why? Why all the attention? I've never treated him like, you know what I mean? I've never really babied him or anything like that too much. So now that I am, he's kind of like, what the heck is going on? But I try to act normal around him as much as possible. That way he doesn't say what the heck is going on. <laughs> I just want him to feel like everything's good. Like everything's the same as it always has been. Oh man. This is fun. I'm glad we came, honestly. Like, I really am enjoying this. It's, it's nice. It's like in the wintertime, again, as I've always said and I always keep saying, it gets so light, so dark so quick that we lose light very quickly. And if you're by yourself or with, obviously I'm with Skel, but he his conversation skills aren't really on point. He's no Doug, you know, he's no Mike. But <laughs> but uh, our banter is pretty good as well anyway. But um, yeah, it's nice to have all the amenities. It's nice to be able to just sit back, relax, use my cooler as a table, use my truck's headlights as lights, sleep in some warmth, cover up my dog with a wool blanket. You know what I mean? It's just, it's very nice. I feel very content, very comfortable here. I'm glad that I found this spot. Buddy Boosh. Uh, that, that you saw me camping with on the ATV trip, um, he told me about this spot, so I came down to try to find it, and of course the GPS doesn't work halfway down because it's out in the boonies, but we found it, I didn't get lost, I swear, <laughs> it took us about an extra hour to get here, but that's alright, that's okay, it's still better than like the 8 hour drive I would have had normally from, home, from Windsor. This fire is burning really hot. It's burning really high up as well. I don't know if you can tell here, but uh, pretty soon she's going to collapse. It's just built itself right up. So i got a good pair of leather gloves. So I'm going to smash her down before she starts falling every which way. Add a couple pieces. I threw some hardwood on. Now I'm going to throw some cedar on, some big cedar rounds on. Just 
keep this fire rocking, building up the coals so I can cook later on. I gotta throw my potatoes in some tin foil, so I'll need some really good uh, coals for that, as well as cooking my steak. Holes are building up nicely. Figure I might as well make up my potatoes. So I need my butter, my potatoes, my tin foil, my spices. You know what? I can put some uh, some vegetables in there too. The scout doesn't need this. Oh, it's just peas. The scout doesn't need this whole can of peas. I got my can opener. Bonus. Bonus. Good boy. Cheese Louise. Crackers and cheese dog. All right. So do I do the tin foil wrong? I've read comments. I was always taught shiny side in. What do you think? What have you been taught? Whoever was in Scouts, I'd be more interested in hearing from them. I know I shouldn't be cooking with it anyway. Or at least I'll hear that. Oh, everything's falling. Everything's falling. Leave some for Scout. If these hobo dinners or uh, potatoes, you want to try and get everything as flat as possible. That way it cooks evenly as opposed to a big mound where there's things in the middle that don't get cooked as evenly or as well. I always do two wraps. It keeps it from burning too much. Personally, I like the crispy bits. All right, so we got a nice little package there now. <laughs> and uh, that'll be ready for the coals soon enough. I got my steak prepped out too, I guess, right now. Wow. Good. Been mighty fine. Mighty fine. There's a little cocoon on that one. We're gonna flip that one upside down so we don't smoke our meat with cocoon dank. No cocoon dank up in here, bro. She's done. These potatoes are done, I believe. Take those off for a few minutes. Get some wood on the fire. I split up some cedar while I was waiting. So that'll get it going nice and quickly. And then I can add some hardwood on top of that. Like this big piece to try and, you know, round things out a little bit. All about balance, right? Here's my spatula. Throw that piece in there too. Hardwoods. Time has come. We got our potatoes, our steak. Ooh, buddy. That looks good. Would you look at that? 
Nummy 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 nums. Oh, my spork. Where's my spork? Is it in the cooler? Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Please be right here. Please be right Yes. No. Yes. Better. That's a little bit better. Ah, there we go. All right. I'm gonna eat one of these taters. Oh, oh! Oh my! Oh my! Okay. Well, that was definitely cooked. Oh, man. These are cooked. To say the least. So I'm digging into this steak. Wow, that's a good piece of meat. Wow. Very happy, very happy about that one. Uh, so, Cut the steak, you flip the steak on its side, you expose the cut spot, cut the cut edge, and you put salt on that cut edge, and it soaks it up like hoy, and she's good. She's super good. Wow. All is well. All is right in the world right now. Everything. My doggy too. Hey? Throwback. Those potatoes are so hot. Hot potato. Hot potato. Small potatoes, small potatoes, small potatoes, small potatoes. Well, I like retro things, like in the vein of Stranger Things or some Stephen King movies, that type of thing. why I like referencing old videos and kind of just throwing things here or there. I'd like to get a little bit more creative with my video making if I'm being honest. Oh man, look at this thing. This is cooked to perfection, boys and girls. Like, no doubt about it. Oh. Mm, man, that's good. Mm. I'm glad for the most part you guys are pretty understanding about that and understanding about me doing different things and branching out and, you know, just doing my thing. My channel's name, channel is named Joe Robinette, right? Same kind of thing that MCQ Bush, Bushcraft, MCQ was talking about. It's not just, just about one thing, it's about me, about my whole life, about my family, anything. I do have a very good audience. There's always a few people who are in there who like to run their mouths like crazy, who still watch every video, which I still appreciate. <laughs> but for the most part, my comment section is pretty awesome.
sorry guys, well, this goes panting in my ear like crazy wanting some of this. I think I'm going to finish this up and then feed Scout some food. Scout, Scout, you good? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lay in your bed though. Come here. Lay in your bed. Lay in your bed. Come on. Let's go. Lay down. Let's go. Lay down in your bed. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Oh, follows directions well. D minus. Oh, Mr. <laughs> well, Mr. Scooter has his, his bone. I'm going to eat my fresh Swiss rolls. My nice and soft dessert. <laughs> when I was a kid, My mom would buy these for lunch or whatever. It was like a treat. Like she like it was like payday or something. Like the first of the month type stuff. <laughs> type stuff. <laughs> oh, it's Swiss rolls all day. Fire's all but died down. And just threw a couple sticks in there. Scout's in bed on his own free will. I'm just gonna clean up out here. Hot, tuck myself in bed as well. Feel good to get these boots off. All right, guys. I'll get with you in the morning. I hope you have sweet dreams. I'll get up. I'll probably make a little warming fire. And fry up some bacon and eggs for breakfast. All right. Good night, guys. It's 5.30. Mr. Scooter's snoring away, as you can hear. <laughs> I gotta pee. I've already peed once. I had two. I'm gonna pee again and go back to sleep. I'm having a good, warm, nice sleep. Oh man, would you look at the condensation? Would you look at it? My bag's wet. Everything's pretty wet. Scout's awake now. Mr. Snorry Pants. Sawing logs all night. Like an old man. That's alright. Doug does it too. It's an old guy kind of thing. Uh, it's after 7 now. What time is it? Where are we at here? 7.20. So there is light coming through the tent. I can see. I tried to show you guys, but it's still black uh, in the camera. And I'm fogging up again. So foggy in here. So fogged in. Okay, good sleep. Really good sleep. I think Scout stayed pretty warm too. He didn't move all night. Just wrapped up in that blanket, so that's good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm gonna get up. I think I might make a little bit of fire just to 
warm myself by while I'm cooking. Cook the bacon and eggs. I'm starving. I'm like, I'm really hungry. All right, open at them. Open at them. You ready to get up, Scoot? Ready to go, big guy? Got the old boots on. Gotta get out of here. It's too foggy. Too foggy there. Uh, touching the sides of this tent, I'm just getting drenched too. Go ahead, buddy. You got it. You got it. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Okay. Oh man. Okay, it's uh, it's pretty misty in there actually. It's strange. Up and at them. Up and at them. Yeah, big size of the the ground I melted. The snow I melted on the ground. All the way to the tent. All right, my hands are freezing. I gotta get stuff going here. So, I've already got my extension cord plugged in. Let's see how far she reaches. I can move the truck closer, but probably don't need to. Nope. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. to keep that out of the snow. It is an outdoor cord, but why why put it in the snow? I might have to turn the car on. <laughs> Derp. See, I might not have to turn it all the way on. I might have to, though. We have a problem. We have a problem. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I just got a flash on this extension cord that wasn't there before, a little uh, light that lit up. Maybe, oh, there we go, the connection's just no good. What the heck, man? That sucks. Well, I'm gonna fumble around with this for a minute here, see see if I can get any luck. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Huh. Huh. Well, it's a good thing that I got that fire going. I can cook my food on that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a bummer. I wanted to be all. Fancy pants, easy going Joe. Cooking it up on the old hot plate, but that's okay. That's okay. No, leave it, leave it, Scout. It's not for you yet. Just leave it. 
little eager beaver. His bacon's cooked about halfway. And then his egg will be raw. His eggs will be raw. Oh yeah, that's going good. <coughs> Excuse me. So some farm fresh eggs. This bowl. Nope, leave it, Scope. Leave it. Leave it, man. Seriously, stop. Oh yeah. Nice and gelatinous. A little messy. A little messy in the morning, Joe. There's bacon. Gonna rip up into pieces. Oh, he's got a big old shell in there. You don't want that, do you, Scout? Rip up the bacon into pieces. Put it in the egg dank. And he will be happier than a dog eating bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I mention this trip was going to be heavy on the food cooking? Might have overcooked these eggs on the bottom. Ah, pop the second yolk too. Joseph. All right, not looking too bad. I really wish I wouldn't have popped that yolk, but whatever. All right, check out this spread. Got my fresh banana, my bacon, my eggs, just ready to take over there. Put some tea on, my canteen. It's a beauty. It's a masterpiece. Oh, she's dripping yolk still. We're not not all is lost. Not all is lost. Bam. You know what? Throw these bacons back on the grill for one second even. Make it taste a little smoky. Smoky bacons. Nothing wrong with that. Back up, buddy. Wow. Mm. Putting them on the fire was a good idea. Wow for that minute. Uh, nothing like a well-balanced breakfast. Oh yeah. Bananas are one of my favorite fruits. I crack myself up. I really do. I make myself laugh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. She's boiling. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, this steeps, I'm gonna break down camp. And then I'll drink this and get out of here. Well, folks, that's the end of the journey. Just gonna sit here with Scoots, have my last cup of tea, reflect on the trip, almost spill it. Oh, I should put her back on. She's real hot. So, Scout and I would like to thank 
you all for watching this video. We'd really like to thank Otterbox for sponsoring this video. It was very cool of them, and it was a cool sponsorship. So thank you very much, guys. Go check them out if you're into it. Like I said last night, I have a bunch of stuff in the works. A bunch of really cool stuff down the pipeline. I'm excited to go home and see how many subscribers I got over the past couple days. Well, yesterday and today so far. Hope to hit that million really soon and I can release that, uh, that million subscriber video. Oh man, that's good. He always feels so good in my belly. Well, Scout did really good on this trip. I've had to coerce him into sleeping in, in his bed a lot of the times, or lay, laying in his bed a lot of the times, so he's obviously not too cold. So you know how skinny he really is. I know it's hard to tell, but I can feel it. Like His, his spine sticks out like crazy now, and his ribs are right there. I can get a good grip on them, but that's okay. He's kicking. He's a champion, and uh, I hope to have him in plenty more videos. But whatever happens, you guys know I'll keep you updated. And, uh, yeah, everything's good. I really appreciate all the well wishes and everything, like I've already said. It would be really, really, really cool to have him around for the million subscriber. You know what I mean? He's built my channel with me, and uh, it'd be cool. Cool milestone. I'll get him, like, a, a rack of ribs or... <laughs> Something crazy. <laughs> Alright guys. Again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a little bit different. But that's what I'm trying to do lately, right? Switch it up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.